Hey, what's up you guys? Angel Martinez here, back again with another video to help real estate agents create more content and build your business online. All right, you guys, so right now, you know, we're going through this whole coronavirus thing and it's forcing a lot of real estate agents to um, figure out different ways, become more innovative and figure out different ways to create content online, okay? And so in this video, I wanna give you guys a very simple idea on using um, virtual walkthroughs, virtual open houses with Matterport to create more content. So we're gonna need two things. One, you're gonna need Matterport set up for your listing, okay? If you don't have have Matterport set up for your listings, this is definitely a wake up call for everybody, for all business owners. I mean, Matterport, not necessarily for all business owners, but uh, a wake up call that we need to be able to start creating content online and building our businesses online so that if something like this ever happens again, you know, we're, we're not, um, we're not behind on the eight ball to kind of, to continue building our businesses. Right. So highly recommend you have, you know, for your real estate agents, highly recommend that you have Matterport set up for your listings. Um, number two, we're going to need zoom. All right. So basically what I'm going to show you guys is, um, just as if you were walking through the house, if you were showing somebody, uh, and you know you're at an open house in person and you're walking through that that listing talking about the listing to the to your guests to your attendees at the open house we're basically gonna recreate that process uh, virtually all right guys so let's jump into my computer all right you guys so here I am uh, I am inside my computer now and um, the very first thing actually quick little disclaimer um, this might get a little funky because I'm going to be kind of like double screen recording. I'm going to be screen recording my screen and then I'm going to also be screen recording what I'm going to show you guys, if that makes any sense. But just to let you know, it might get a little funky um, with some of the screen recording uh, that's going on here. Okay, so um, we're going to jump back in here. The very first thing that you guys are going to want to do is um, open up a new window to your internet browser. <clears throat> and the first thing that we're going to do is open up Zoom, okay? So we're going to open up Zoom and we're going to start a meeting. Um, if you don't have Zoom, it, you, there is a free option for you to use Zoom, okay? It doesn't, uh, doesn't require any additional add-ons or anything like that. You can just have the free account and work off of that, all right? So you're going to want to go ahead and start up a, a Zoom account if you don't already have one. And um, we're going to start a meeting, okay? So we're going to start this meeting with... Uh, with video on, all right? We're gonna go ahead and open up the Zoom meeting. And here we are, all right, perfect. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this audio off uh, just in case, again, I'm, I'm like double recording here. So I'm pretty sure if I just leave this audio off, we should be totally fine, okay? So um, next thing that we're gonna wanna do is, um, open up your Matterport portal. Okay. So we're going to go to Matterport. We're going to sign in and then we're going to go in here and select a listing. All right. So you're going to go ahead and select your listing that you're going to want to shoot. And then, um, we'll get started here shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk through. Um, this is a listing out here in, or out in, um, in New Jersey. So we're going to use this one for an example. And, um, I'm going to show you guys really quick what we are going to be doing. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and open up this listing as soon as you, so when you're inside of zoom, um, you're gonna, you are going to, um, open this back up and then we're going to hit the record button. Okay. So this is, this is, if you just a record, you're just recording a, a video, right? We're not doing any live. We're not doing anything like that. So, um, this is just a simple video, no lives, nothing like that. You're going to go ahead and hit the record, um, option. Okay. So you can go ahead and record, uh, to this computer and I'm going to go ahead and continue without audio and we are recording. Okay. So when you go ahead and, um, start recording. Next thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and share your screen. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and share this screen again. This is, this is probably where it's going to get a little confusing here. Um, tricky with the, uh, with the double recording of the double of the recording because <laughs> I'm recording this screen and then a zoom is also recording the screen over here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start back at the beginning entrance of this house. 
Um, so we are recording, okay? Make sure that you're recording. Number two, you um, share your screen, okay? So if you didn't see that, I'm gonna go jump back over there again. Um, it's a big green button that you're gonna see there and it's gonna say share, all right? So you it'll probably show you a bunch of different options. Um, you'll most likely, you'll figure it out and you'll see that it's gonna be, you know, I have two monitors, so I have this screen and then I have this screen over here. I wanna sc uh, screen record my number one screen over here. If you only have one screen, it's only gonna give you that one option, right? So um, we're gonna go ahead and hit share. And now um, here we are at the beginning of this, um, of this house, right? Here's the front door. Uh, this is a new construction house, so um, that's why that's why you see um, that thing right there on the sign, the sign on the front on the front door. All right, so I am not a real estate agent, so of course, you know, you as a real estate agent, as a professional, you haven't done this, haven't done this several times. You can talk a lot more about the house um, than you know than I can. I don't really know much of the lingo that you know you guys as real estate agents use to describe your listing. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of the some of the definition or, or lingo here. You know, using. Uh, you know, custom trim, but this is where you're gonna get started, right? So you're gonna you're gonna get started. My recommendation would be before you start walking into that house, give a little description of that listing. So as you start here, you know you're gonna introduce yourself, who you're with, um, the address that you're at, the listing that you're going to present to them, and then go ahead and give them some information on that listing. So you know this this home is listed at. Um, five five ninety nine nine, um, etc. It is it is located at one fifteen Bayview, and I think this is Brick, New Jersey. Um, maybe go into some more detail. Some you know maybe some incentives. This this is a new construction. If there is any any other listing background information that you want to give to uh to your consumer. Um, go ahead and do that now before you go in and, and start walking through the house. So once you get that taken care of, you're gonna start and, and do your tour, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and walk through and you're gonna tell them, you know, this is a great additional room for you to set up maybe a home office, etc. And then you're just gonna continue walking through and, you know, of course, as all real estate agents do is, and here we are in the kitchen, right? It's like, duh, of course we are in the kitchen, right? So talk about the kitchen, tell, you know, let people know that this is, uh, I don't know if this is uh, marble countertop, not marble, granite countertops, um, you know, custom backsplash, custom cabinetry, um, whatever else there is to talk, stainless steel appliances, right? Uh, don't just say, here we are in the kitchen, right? Um, <laughs> so, you know, maybe you can talk about, you know, you have a nice, beautiful backyard to, um, well, this one has rocks in the backyard here. Um, but, you know, go ahead. You get what I'm saying. Talk about your listing. Um, maybe the fireplace here. Uh, mention the fireplace. And basically what you're going to do is just keep walking through the house. You're going to, you're, you're going to be right there on the side, right? So you can see, um, it, it's, it's almost as if you're there walking through the house with your, uh, or with your, with your audience, right? So, cause this is online. Um, we are going to go walk upstairs and, um, obviously I'm not doing the greatest job of selling this house, right? I'm not, that's not my job. <laughs> um, whoever, uh, whoever the, uh, um, listing agent for this house is going to do a much better job than, you know, me describing this house here. Right. So, you know, maybe it's custom, uh, hardwood flooring, uh, maybe they're going to walk through and talk about the bathroom, you know, give some description on that. Um, wherever the master bedroom is at, which is not on this side, I think it's over here on this side. Um, you get my point, right? So here we are. Um, talk about your listing. Walk through, walk through, uh, walk through the whole house. But basically, what we're trying to do is create a virtual tour, a virtual open house, and this is just another variation of how you can create content um, virtually, right? All right, you guys, so I know I didn't do the greatest job of walking you through that house. Again, that wasn't the point. The point was to give you the idea of how to do that. You, as the real estate agent, of course, you're gonna do a much better job of walking through that listing, explaining all the you know all the features of the home, and doing a much better job of selling that house. So there it is, guys. I hope that gives you guys some more ideas to help you create more content and continue growing your business online. I'll catch you guys in the next video.